Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the VGC VN N7500 Bluetooth mobile radio. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now, this is a strange looking radio, right? No display, no nothing on it, but it is a VHF UHF dual band full power mobile radio. It's 50 watts on VHF, 40 watts on UHF. The frequency range is from 136 to 174 on 2 meters and 400 to 470 megahertz on 440. Now, the interesting thing about this radio is I haven't seen anything like this. This is brand new. I'm probably maybe one of two people that have this radio right now. But I think for, um, for the, uh, the price and for the features, you're going to really, really like this. Um, definitely something for people who are more into the phone and tablet world. If you're not familiar with using a cell phone or using a tablet, this might be a little challenging for you. This is essentially a software-defined radio. And the software will run for your head-end or display on your tablet, cell phone. And interestingly enough, since a lot of the in-car navigation systems are Android-based, it will run on that too. So it's a neat little system. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to pair it with your um, tablet. You're going to download the app. And in the directions, it comes with how to get the app. You have a little QR code there. And you'll swipe that code, scan that code, I mean, and get the app, install it, and you'll be able to set this up. So I'm going to show you quickly how it works. We're going to get it set up with my, uh, my backup power box. So I'm kind of have to turn it that way because <laughs> my antenna wire for my radio that I keep in here will only reach so far. So uh, we're going to move it that way, and I'm going to show you how this whole thing works. And uh, we're going to power it up and give it a shot. So let me get that set up, and I'll show you how to pair the radio and program in frequencies. Now, this is going to be more of a two-part video. Um, I'm going to play with this radio. I literally got it three or four days ago. I'm going to play with this radio a little bit, and we're going to figure out some of the functions. It has a ton of features in it. What I'm showing you today is how to get it up and running for your average 2 meter 440 repeaters and simplex, just like a regular radio. Then we're going to delve more into the features. I am going to tell you about them, but we're going to delve more into the features when I figure them out, again, because it's a brand new radio, in a later video, probably in a week or so. So let me get this all set up, and uh, we'll show you how it works. All right, so I have the radio all hooked up here um, into my power box with the antenna in it. Um, it does retain the memories inside of it. However, you can't control it once without, without a tablet. So we're going to start the app. The app will look kind of like this. It says HT. They do have some other radios that are pr programmed by the same app. Now you're going to notice it come up here and it's looking to connect. When this first comes up, you'll get a, a screen like this that will say pairing. We're going to turn it on. Okay, so it's on. And here is your screen. Now I'm going to try to get rid of some of that glare from that side light this way. Um, and I'm going to show you the screen real quick. You can see I've put in a couple frequencies here, a simplex frequency and a uh, re local repeater. I'm going to put in a 440 repeater. This does have FM radio as well. So you can hit this little radio icon up top here. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Those are your settings. There's your radio icon. And you can have FM radio as well. So we're going to get this rolling, and I'm going to move that light out of the way, and uh, we'll bring you back and show you all the features. All right, so the radio up top is on. I'm going to give you a quick look at that. You'll see the power light on. This is your transmit and receive buttons, and that's your power button. Basically, I'm going to push that and hold it. The radio will turn on, and it'll say what channel it was last left in. So if we go back down to our tablet here, it was left in channel 2, which is a local repeater. Let's see if I can pull that up for you. And this is how we switch back and forth. You can switch your power levels here. There's low, medium, and high. You can do a single or dual channel. And you can scan as well. Now let's say you want to listen to the radio while you're setting everything up. You can just click this radio button here. Chicago. This is wait, wait, don't tell me. So it does have an FM radio in it. And the, the speaker for this is through here. However, let me turn that off. You can adjust that when you get back in there and have the speaker come through here as well. So if you're not near this radio, okay, if you're not near the radio, and you want to take this with you around your house and talk on 2 meters and 440, you can do it. You don't need to carry the radio with you. It will also play back through your car system if you have an Android-based navigation system. I know a lot of the new um, tablets that are coming out, a lot of the new GPSs that are coming out are about this size, 7 inches, 
and uh, they're based on Android. So if you already have a GPS in your car, you can put the radio in the trunk and operate it from the, uh, from the screen itself. So let's go to Simplex. There you go, you're on Simplex. I'm going to show you how this works. Let's go to Edit Channel. Let me pull this up for you so you can see it. Hope that focuses. There we go. It's not focusing. There we go. That's good enough. You can see how that works. It's all very simple. The cool part about this radio is there's no messing around with programming cables and wires and everything. It all works over Bluetooth. And you can hit delete, share, or save. So we're just going to go save because it's nothing new in there. I'm going to switch to my repeater over here. Okay. Just hit it real quick. And it comes back. It will also come back through the radio. Now there's that little there's a little icon I was telling you about up top here where you can set the volume, the squelch level. And it's nice that you can set the squelch level independently for each memory. So there's no, you know, if you're in one that's in a city and you have a lot of RF, you can set it higher as opposed to lower. The device speaker, again, you can switch over here to on or off. So this device can have its own speaker on or off or auto, which is just the radio itself. And there are your general settings. Real simple. We'll give you the battery, uh, the battery um, power that you're getting through the radio, which is right now is 12.5. So let's take it back and let's program a 440 frequency. I'm going to put this flat so I'm not holding it, bouncing it all over the place. And I'm going to show you how to program a frequency into this. Um, it's beyond simple. As long as you know the offset, your PL tone, and your uh, add minus, or, minus or plus uh, shift on the, on the uh, frequency, you're set. It's so simple. Anyway, let me put this flat on the ground and show you how it works. All right, so I've got the radio right in front of me here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a simplex frequency in. I'm going to show you how simple that is to do. Now, this is a frequency that was already programmed in there. I didn't do it. So what we're going to do is edit channel. And that's how it comes. It'll come with these. Now, you can call it whatever you want. Um, you can type in whatever name you want for this channel. And it will automatically display that. So let's say I call this uh, simplex2 x and the number 2. We'll go back one. Gotta remember, I'm new at this, this radio. There we go, Simplex 2. Now, 146. What we're gonna do here is go 5.5, five, because that's usually our, our second Simplex frequency. So I still have the 146. I wanna go 5.5.0, five, okay? Now, here's more. I can set off the transmit frequencies. I don't want any of my CTS or DCS codes. Power. You can set your power individually. I'm going to put it on medium. I usually store all of my frequencies in medium power. That way I have enough to get out, but not too much if I'm very close to wherever the repeater is. You can change it when you're actually using the memory, which is nice. When you have it pulled up and you're transmitting, you can go in there and hit high power if you're finding you're not hitting the person that you want to, um, want to hit with, uh, want to talk with. So there's the rest of your stuff. You don't want to disable uh, transmit. But you can put in frequencies and disable transmit. If you have local fire department or police frequency, you want to store in there. And for some reason, it's in the same band area, which this one doesn't seem to go into um, too bad. Uh, you can put it in there and disable transmit so you don't actually hit the key. And uh, that's about it, really. So you're going to go back up. You're going to hit... Oops, let's change that. You have to put both transmit and receive in there. So there you go. That's done. Then you go up to the top here where it says share and save, and you're going to hit save. And there's Simplex 2, right where you want it. Now, if I want to change the power, okay, see how it's on medium? I can go to high power if I want to. I can also switch to low power. There. So let's give it a try here. I don't know if anybody's on the frequency. W6UTC. Nobody's there. Anyway, <laughs> that's how it works. So now we're going to put a repeater in, okay? This is our local 440 repeater, and this is in our, our actually in our local hospital here where we have a, a station set up. So I'm going to go over here to this one, and we're going to edit this. This is another edit channel. Now in here, for the title, I'm going to put hospital. So H-O-S-P-T, there. Okay, now this is 440, so we're going to go back here. Now our receive frequency is 447.700. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to go to medium on that. We're going to go to more. Transmit frequency. In other words, when you key the microphone down, what does it transmit on so the repeater hears you? And that is 442700. 2.700. So again, it's that minus 6 megahertz offset. Uh, receive, we don't want any transmit. RPL. Let's go find it. 123. There's the rest of your information on there. Okay. Now we're going to click save. And now we're going to try to hit it. Sorry, battery died. I'm back. <laughs> so we're going to click save. We're going to go back to the hospital. That's, yep, whoop, we're on simplex 2. There's hospital repeater. Okay. I'm going to key up just to see if anybody's listening. W6UTC testing. And there we go. Nobody's listening. It's too early. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, you're able to hit that. And that's how easy it is to program. Now, there is a setting in here that I want to make you aware of um, that will frustrate the heck out of you if you don't know, if you don't know how to do it. We're going to go to Edit Channel, okay? When you go on here, you see where it says Offline? You want to click that. It comes already set up with the Offline being off. In other words, it's not accessible to the radio. It'll pretend like it's transmitting, but it won't transmit. You want to turn that off. That simple. So you never want to um, mess with that because you want to keep it online at all times. So this is really a cool and easy to program radio. It's very, very simple. I mean, you can imagine having a mount for this on your dashboard and doing your audio and stuff through here. And then you have a map of where you are. You can talk through it. See, I can talk using that. I have my whole map here. There is a setting in this. You can use this for APRS. There is a setting in this where if somebody else has another one of these radios, you can actually track each other's location. So that's really handy for doing public service type stuff. If I'm sitting up at net control and I see, you know, my, uh, one of my guys is out on, you know, Ford Road or Eton Road over here, I can say, hey, you know what? I see where you are. You're closest. You go over to, you know, Liberty Street. That simple. So it is kind of a cool feature. You can set this up with APRS. Um, I'm going to have to mess around with that. That's going to be for a later video as well. I'm going to have to mess around with that somewhat. But, I mean, for the price, these run about $198. They're completely controllable by that. You can also, here's that little button I was telling you about, the mute. So if you want to listen to what's coming back at you, you can do it through this device. So I can take this tablet with me, walk through my house, talk to whoever I want to talk to, and my radio is set up maybe at my, uh, you know, at my shack and be able to work it as far as I can work the Bluetooth. So it is kind of a neat little feature. You have a nice map here. You can pretty much see wherever you're going to go. And whenever you want to change your frequency, if I want to go back to Simplex, this is 14652. Um, and I'll show you how we can tell that. And if you don't want the name up there, you don't need to put a name in. You can put your frequency up there, 14652. Um, something I did just notice here is I didn't put the 14652 on transmit. 146.520. That is something to remember. Um, you always want to make sure that you, uh, with these type of radios, they will always ask transmit and receive frequency. So you definitely want to make sure you put that in there. But yeah, it's a really cool radio. So um, that's some of the features. That's how you program it. Very, very simple to program. So let's get back on the radio itself. All right, so as you can tell, I still have my little power light on up there. Let's say I want to turn this off now. I can hit the power button and hold it, or, again, I can use the app, go down here where it says power, and turn the radio off. That was it turning off. Later on, I come back, I want to turn it back on, I hit the power button, channel one, and it's on, and it's telling me it's on channel one. So programming this thing is beyond simple. It's really, really, really easy. It's a, it's a nice looking, very well built radio. I gotta say that right off the bat. This thing, you know, I got it kind of sight unseen. Um, the person who had it showed it on Facebook. I said, hey, you should send me that to test, and they did. So I was very pleased. But um, I got to say, when you see something like that on Facebook and you don't hold it in your hand, you don't know if it's going to be plasticky or kind of junky. This thing's made with some serious premium materials. Um, I, I got to say, the, the case is beautiful. It's a nice, thick, heavy aluminum you know, well-coated. Um, this thing up here is a thick kind of Kydex plastic, some kind of plastic. Um, may even be a 3D printed type plastic. Um, definitely well-made, well-put-together. 
The microphone, very hefty, nice, nice looking microphone. It just has a magnetic on the back. It does have a magnet on the back, so when you're done, you can just kind of hook it wherever there's a place with a magnet, so you don't need anything special. You can also use the hook. It has your up and down buttons, your memory, and your click press to talk here. Um, I'd probably keep this on press to talk unless I was walking around with the radio itself. I kind of like having the old-fashioned microphone. Another feature of this radio is you can use Bluetooth speakers and microphones. So let's say you're not too thrilled with that being your, your radio speaker. That's it right there. Okay, and your tablet doesn't have the best sound. Well, you can connect this. Anytime you want to connect a Bluetooth device, you'll push this twice. The radio will beep, and you can connect another Bluetooth device via the app. So, if I were to go back and do that, let's go back to the, the start here. One more. Whoops, I closed it. <laughs> so, if I want to do that, I can do it right from here. And it has a really nice map uh, presentation I, I noticed here. This is your, um, you can um, message all this stuff in here. You can put messages inside of everything. This will record all of your transmissions if you want it to. You can turn that off, okay? But it will record all of your transmissions. So if you want to go back over a, um, over a, uh, over a, oh, I did it again. <laughs> I keep doing that. If you want to go back over a conversation, and you can turn that off, by the way. That's very easy to turn off, no problem. But if you want to go back over a conversation, you can, and you can listen to what you said to somebody or whatever. Um, it has overlays, I believe, so you can do a satellite. Now, this is connected to, um, to my uh, Wi-Fi in my house, but if you have a phone, you can do this without that. Really easy to do. So you can do overlays with the satellite, all that neat stuff. So it's definitely a cool app. I like the fact that you got the, the integration of this with possibly some APRS usage in the future. Um, this could be a standalone APRS unit, actually, because you're using the GPS inside the tablet and the radio as your radio. So, pretty cool thing. You can connect other, like I said, other Bluetooth devices. They do make a Bluetooth microphone for it. It actually looks like a little HT. Um, you can connect that as well. I'm definitely pleased with it so far. It, the programming was so simple. I mean, that's my biggest concern when I get a new radio. How hard is it going to be to program? And it was just so simple to do. So I definitely recommend this for somebody who's tired of having to deal with programming cables and all that other stuff. I'm going to turn it off. There. Um, I definitely recommend that. You saw how easy it was to put that frequency in. It took a minute, if that. Now, as far as MCOM usage of this, I could definitely see where I could set this up. Say, oh, let's put that there. I could put a mount for my tablet on top of my thing and a mount for the radio on the other side and have a pretty much full featured kind of system and I may do that in the future. I gotta get a better um, tablet holder for that. So I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. So let me move the camera over and we'll uh, show you what comes with it. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick look at what's in the box. I'll give you some ideas of my usage for this radio, what it'll be in the future. And um, some of the other features quickly we'll go over. They're probably features you may never even use if you're really a ham radio operator, but they are possible to be used. So first off the bat, a fast operate manual. Believe it or not, this actually really helped me a whole lot. Um, it's only here and here, hence why you can see I'm going to need another video to learn the features myself to, to, to explain it to you. But this will get you on the air, and that was my point of this video. I wanted to show you how to program repeaters, program frequencies in it, and get you on the air with it. Then we can go into the fancy stuff, the APRS. There's a network mode on here where you can set up internet channels, um, where you can kind of do like a, a Zello type network on there. I'm not sure that it does Zello. I don't believe it does. But again, for a later date, and after I contact the manufacturer, we'll maybe see if we can do that. Because having this as a radio and a network radio is pretty cool. Next up, your cable. I put some quick clips on here, because I wasn't sure how I was going to connect this, but uh, it just comes with two bare ends and a plug for the uh, radio. When I realized the radio had a plug, I just used my power box. This is your mounting bracket. I'm keeping it in there till I decide what to do with it. But uh, it's just a mounting bracket for the radio. You will get uh, a plug for the microphone in case you want to have a remote extender on it. Extra fuses. It's very nicely fused on the back of the radio itself. Um, the cables coming out from the radio are fused with these. Let me see if I can see 15 amp fuses. So nice that they give you a few extras. All your mounting hardware. This is a magnetic disc for the back of... Pull it over here, your microphone. So it's just a double sticky, you just stick it there, put that anywhere you want on your vehicle or wherever you're gonna mount it, and you have a place to hang your mic. And 
I believe the last part of it here, this is, if I can get this stuff out, this is your remote push to talk button. So the uh, band on that, I'm not sure whose wrist that would be for, maybe a couple of fingers, but this is, this can be paired with your radio and this is rechargeable and this will let you push and talk without holding the push to talk button down. So again, it's got a ton of features for the price. Um, the price point right around $198. I will put a link down below to their site where you can pick one up. Um, this is the only English speaking version of this radio, video of this radio on YouTube. There are other videos, they are in Chinese, so it'll be a little hard to understand. Maybe you can watch them and kind of get an idea of what they're doing. But this is why I wanted to do a first radio where I just got the radio on the air for you, a first video, where I got the radio on the air for you and you see how it operates. And it is definitely giving me idea, ideas for another power box because I would really like to integrate this into an entire mobile kind of system where um, we have a power box completely set up that I just open up sort of like this, you know, with everything mounted in it. And the uh, tablet could be mounted up here. The radio could be mounted in here. And your power and whatever requirements, maybe an old uh, Pelican case or something like that, would definitely be cool. So it's probably going to be another project that I get into. But for now, um, that's my quick review of the uh, was it Vero Telecom VRN7500 UHF and VHF dual band transceiver. Definitely a cool radio. Very, very simple to program. Very nicely made. Uh, I've been very impressed with it. I'm going to move you around so you can actually see it again. We get a little up close to it, and you can take a look at it. Definitely a nicely made radio. This thing met and exceeded my expectations for ease of programming, for sound quality. It sounds really, really good for such a tiny little speaker, and the fact that you can run it through your tablet is even cooler. So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will put a link down below. This is not available on Amazon. You'll have to go to their website and get it. At least it's not available yet. Um, and you will be seeing more of this radio because I plan on building a, uh, a little box for it and uh, doing a whole mobile emergency comm setup with it. Um, having the tablet in there is really awesome. I don't know that I'd keep the tablet in there 24-7 because I use that tablet a lot. But there will be a spot mounted in it for the tablet or maybe even just a place where you can stick the tablet in. Up here it wouldn't be too stable. And as this is for another radio anyway, this mount. So... It's going, to be, it's going to require a whole new box. It's going to require a little more power since it's a more powerful radio. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our links down below, our Amazon store. Uh, if there's nothing in the store, just click the link and shop as you normally would. It really helps us out. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link and our Olight store. I apologize the video went a little long. It's kind of hard to do uh, radio videos with all these features that doesn't run long. So, Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.